Welcome back to Adventures in K-Pop Hell with Drake. Yes, sirree. Right now, we're here with Hongbin in a Cinderella's dress. Because that is Cinderella's dress from Disney, from the movie Cinderella, or the cartoon Cinderella, or the cartoon movie, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, right? Like, the, you can't hear the audio right now because my uh, I can't really record the audio when I do these videos for some reason. But I usually put the music in. But right now, it's feeling like that Disney vibe. It, it's giving me the feels, though. I'm not going to lie. It's giving me... Damn feels. I'm feeling this Disney issue remind me of Kingdom Hearts and <laughs> CL Hallelujah. Anyways, um let's continue. <laughs> oh woe is me. No, you know what? I'm gonna say like some kind of Disney princess. Oh woe is me. Oh woe is me. Fru fru bitches, gah. Might as well try. What? <laughs> you look a little worried. What's wrong? Oh, I'm here to find a nice, sophisticated man at an opera. I can't seem to find one who's interested in me. <sighs> Why do you need a man? It's fine to be single. Have you heard? I don't need a man. I don't need a man. What? I've, I have been forever. Wait, I'm trying to find a man? What? Oh, I am a princess on the fairway island called Pon Weepon. Pon Weepon. At a certain age, I'm forced to find a husband. I thought I could find a nice man here. Hmm. All you can find here is old, wrinkled prunes in suits. You might want to try a mall or something. I'm just saying, Hongbin. You know, if you want, really want to try to find a man, I'm just saying. You know that. No, I love the opera. My future husband should all enjoy the art like I do. What happened there, Dre? This is the only place for me. Well, damn, bitch. All right, you can stay here. Shit. I can scout around. Maybe I could help you find someone nice. Ooh, we're gonna find Hongbin a man. Really? Would you do that for me? Oh, I am grateful. What a beautiful soul you have. Oh, thank you, girl. I mean, Hongbin. Mm. Oh, that curtain is opening. I must rush to my seat. I hope you find a man of my dreams. I should get out of the aisles. I don't want the crowd to yell at me. True, true, true. Hmm, where would be a good place to start looking? Check backstage. Check the concession stand. Okay, if she wants someone that likes the opera. It must be someone backstage because I feel like the concession stand is just a job. And you're always hearing opera and you might get tired of it, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they like it. But I'm going to check backstage, though. Let's check backstage. Backstage. I bet I can find someone interesting there. You somehow managed to sneak past the security guards and got in. Damn, I be on that level to sango. <laughs> looks like a bunch of workers back there. Back here. Everyone looks like they make a minimum wage and listen to Nickelback. Ugh. I don't think that's the kind of man the princess is interested in. How you know? Maybe she like nigga bag. I'm just saying. You see someone interesting standing by the curtain. Ooh, okay. Who is me, though? Excuse me, sir. I need to ask you a favor of you. Who is that? <gasps> Julian. <laughs> He's the fan of the opera. I need a glass of wine and a bowl of Skittles. Chop chop. Wine and Skittles don't mix. I don't, ew. Oh, I know. I don't work here. Could have fooled me. Look, I have a friend outside who needs a date. You are trying to set me up on a date? Looking the way you do? Ha! What? I look... Did I tell you I am a sexy chocolate? I am swag money sexy bitch. That's what I am. That's what I'm saying. Mm. The only, I only date the finest of girls. I mean, come on. I'm the phantom of the oh per What a dick, for real. You haven't seen my friend yet. She is a princess. She's a very classy lady. A princess, eh? Oh, I got your attention, ho. Did I get your attention? Hmm, she got big tits? Yes, she do. Giant like watermelon. Giant like, like, 
Why am I? I can't even say this shit. Giant, like giant watermelon. Watermelon filled with gold. Damn. That don't even taste good. I don't feel gold, but I'll sell that ish, that's for sure. Get out of my way. I must find her. That was quick. The show is going on. I better wait until it's finished before I check on them. Four long, boring hours later, though. Oh, Kyu Hyung, you're the perfect man. I think, I think I love you. I, I, I think I love you too. There's something you must know about me, though. A dark secret that I've hid for years. Nothing could change the way I feel about you, dear. You sure? Are you truly ready to see for what I really am? Didn't y'all just meet for like four hours and you? It's like some frozen ish. This is some frozen ish before frozen. You know how they, they like, like each other all of a sudden? To the creator of this game, you you made the story, story of Frozen already. Girl, boy, girl. Mm. Yes, dear. I swear this will change nothing. <sighs> Alright. I'll show you what is under my mask. Ooh, what's under his mask, y'all? I'm a juggalo. Oh, no, I'm done. No, mm -mm. no, juggalo, really do. Mm, no, no. As a teen, I identified with the insane clown posse. Uh uh, no. It changed me into the man that I am today. Ugh. Girl, dump that guy. I'm just saying. He's a he's a juggalo. I have a tattoo of the great Milenko on my dick as well. What? Can you accept me for what I am? A juggalo? Hell no! I must confess, I was a little surprised there. To be honest, I'm a juggalo too. Well, damn, alright, y'all made for each other. Let's move on. Effing magnets. How do they work? What? Oh, what? Oh, Hongbin. This is destiny. Let's elope. Oh, Q. You're not sure what the princess saw in uh, the the juggalo, but to each I know, like to each their own. I mean, all right, let's move on though. You're so desperate for a boyfriend that you may take a juggalo if the chance arises. <laughs> no. <laughs> How sad! You break the first commandment. <laughs> Thou shalt not date juggalos. True that. Regardless, you did what you were asked, so time to move out of the opera house. Let do. You come across a scary place. It's surrounded with fire, demons, and creepy stuff. Well, damn, that escalated so damn fast, y'all. <laughs> Looks like you're here. This is the lair of the Dark Lord. Okay. Cross your fingers. This is it. This is where it, what it comes all down to. I'm scared. Oh, please. Please let me get my life back. I just want to go out. See one? Oh, see one? Welcome. <laughs> Look at his face. I can't take it seriously. Are you the Dark Lord? Yes. Yes, indeed. I don't believe you. But you're a Pope. Oh my effing G. How? What? I just I just like wearing this hat. It's awesome. It's an awesome hat. And the gold cross, man. I got swag. <laughs> anyway, I heard that if you... If I did enough good deeds, you let me live again. Well, now, let's look at all you've done here first. That poor wizard, he turned into an ant because of you. Damn it. Minho, if you if, if 
you F me up, I swear. If I don't live, Minho, and because you can't take a little bit of holy water, I swear. At a gay bar, you help someone with a pageant by sabotaging another contestant. Okay. True. Um. True. You're right. You're right. You're right. At the opera, you found the princess a fitting prince. I. All right. Okay. So I can have my life back. <laughs> I don't think so. Damn it! It's not fair. Oh my FNG, you evil effer. Why? Life isn't fair. You should know this. The Pope hat says no. You can't have your life back. <laughs> well, <laughs> Pope, the Pope, um, C1 finna gonna get his ass beat. I'm just saying. Dolphin noise. What? That was like, 100. From 0 to 100, all of a sudden. What the? How did? What? 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 Jutsu? What? Dolphin noise? Jutsu? Jutsu? What? You can't understand Dolphin, but you're pretty sure he wants to escape and bring you with him. Jutsu, you my savior. <laughs> that was the most retarded thing I've ever done. <laughs> uh. You grab onto the dolphin fin and he uses his magic wand to make a giant hole in the hell and he jumps through it. Okay. Wow, I don't know how you did that, but effing awesome job, dude. Dolphin noise. <laughs> I can, I can see the town from here. Come on, take me to shore. A dolphin took you to land, then swam of, then swarm of making of making happy dolphin noises? Oh, never mind. Apparently it was a different continent, but you were happy to be the hell out of there. It was a tribe of people who lived a simple life, no technology, just their own skills. They all love it when you dance and sing K-pop songs, and you are now a mayor of the tribal town. Well, damn. <laughs> Props to me. <laughs> you don't miss Tumblr at all, and you're a better person now. Well, that's a good thing, I guess. The end. <gasps> We did it, guys! We completed it! I know there's different endings, but... Yeah! Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys want to watch, really, like, uh, watch me play this again, you know, do different things, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and, um, I'll put a link to the, um, the Tumblr page where, uh, uh, I got the game. And I was searching through Tumblr, actually, and someone sent me a, a, a Tumblr post that the actual Tumblr talks about me that I'm playing this game and all I gotta say is that I know it's, you said it's been two years since you made this game but it's amazing if you can make another one I would definitely play it again uh, it's weird but it's you know up my alley of weird and funny um, and yeah hope you guys enjoyed watching it and like this video subscribe to the channel and yeah subscribe to JRE Camel too if you want to watch me play other kind, kinds of video games that are not K-pop uh, I have a Twitch channel as well, and yeah, this is Adventures in K-Pop Hell. Choose your own adventure. Alright guys, that's it for now. This is JRE, thank you for watching, and listen to K-Pop, it feels good. Bye for now.